Well, welcome back, John. You, you, it's good to see your collection back on the catwalk again. I know that uh, you took a little hiatus. And uh, in the past, you were doing some very edgy, very functional, very fashion-forward pieces. What are you focusing on now? Well, I'm focusing on two things. One, I'm really working on suits, tailored clothing, which is really the real part of the men's business. The other part is I'm moving back into sportswear, but I'm doing it in a way that I think is more accessible, but also still very sexy and very edgy. Uh, but my design sensibility has definitely, I think, I don't know, refined. I'm taking, I've taken away a lot of details that I don't want to see anymore. Um, it's a little bit more pulled back and um, it's clothes that I want to wear. So, um, I don't know, I'm very excited to be back. Well, one of the gorgeous things that I saw with these gorgeous trousers with uh, almost like a tuxedo pant yeah. with beading on the side, which was just amazing. Thank you. I did a lot of, uh, I worked with Swarovski and um, they've, we've been collaborating for a couple of seasons. So I did a lot of different types of evening stripes. That pant in particular I love as well because it's a judo pant. It's very loose, it wraps around and ties, but it has a really exquisite um, sort of zigzag beaded detail down the sides, like a smoking stripe. And um, to me, that's very, very elegant. It's, it's, a tuck, it's really, it's a judo pan. It's like a PJ pan, but with all that gorgeous uh, beading. So that, I kind of like that juxtaposition now. Well, there's a lot of really interesting fabrics also, like the, um, very, like the uh, moleskin, and also there was some canvases or yeah. some linens. Right, I worked with a, uh, an, uh, I worked with a mill in Tuscany and we developed a lot of fabrics that are cotton woven with steel. And there's a cotton velvet, uh, there's a velveteen, a moleskin that's also woven with steel. So it has like a really lived in, very wrinkled effect. And I developed different types of seersuckers. Um, and again, really worked with a lot of graphic elements, but very, very humble fabrics at the same time. Things that are very natural. Um, and just that have a lot of quality, but that aren't uh, aren't uh, screaming in your face. Tell me a little bit about some of the evening looks that you have for men, because they were so new and so fresh. I mean, I haven't seen anything like that lately. Um, so tell us about some of the evening silhouettes and some of the looks for men. Thank you. Again, what I wanted to do with the evening is I show in the beginning of the sh uh, sh uh, in the beginning of the show I wanted to show suits, very tailored, constructed. By the time evening rolls around, it's very, very loose. There's tunics, there's, um, again, a lot of beading, all the jackets are unconstructed, and a lot of knitwear. And I love this idea of black with cream, cream with black. Um, very, very simple, and again, quite graphic, but still super relaxed. Um, and I'm showing them with my favorite shoe right now, which is a black police shoe. So it's got it's a lot of shine which matches the runway. So there's a hard and soft, there's, there's this sort of military police shoe, but then like a really super loungy evening. A little bit Hugh Hefner in a sense. Cardigans make a comeback. Yeah, cardigans, and I actually did a lot of cardigans with Swarovski buttons. But yeah, just very loose, romantic, a little bit of feeling of the 20s, but mixed with the 80s. Well, congratulations, John. Can't wait to see the clothes on the catwalk. Great to see you back. Thank, Thank you very much. You.